Beruchim Ha'aboyim, welcome everyone. We're about to begin Be'ezra HaSashem together on Daf Lamed Vov Omed Beis, the last seven lines from the bottom. The Gemara is discussing various foodstuffs and their appropriate brachos. Says the Gemara, Chovitz Kedero V'chein Daiso. A Chovitz Kedero is a porridge that has not only cooked wheat but also honey and some olive oil mixed together with it. The Chain Dyson, also a regular porridge. Rav Yehudo Mar Shahakol near Bidvoroi. Rav Kahano Mar Borei Mine Mizonos. It's Machloik, it's whether the Broch is Shahakol or Borei Mine Mizonos. Bedaisa Grado, if we're talking about a regular porridge alone without anything mixed in it, Kuliyamo Lo Pligi de Borei Mine Mizonos. Everybody agrees the Brocha on that porridge is Borei Mine Mizonos. Ki Pligi, what is their Machloik? Bedaiso. When it has this mixture with honey and also oil. Rav Yehuda Omar Shehakol. Sovar Duvsho Iker. He says, since the honey is the main ingredient, that's what the person wants to eat it for. Therefore, even though it has wheat, which enhances the flavor, the bracha is Shehakol Niyabidvoro. Rav Kahana Omar Borei Minei Mezoinois. Sovar smido Iker. He says, since the flour is the Iker, the bracha is Borei Mine Mezonos. Even though it's true, it might be tasty from the honey as well. Om Rav Yosef Kavosei of Kahano Mestabro. It's Mestaber, like Rav, sorry, like Rav Kahano, who just said the bracha is Mezonos. The Rav Ushmuel the Amrei Travaihu, because they both said the following. He, they said that anything that has inside of it containing one of the chamesha mini dogem, that is wheat, barley, rye, oats, or spelt, even if it's a minimum, even if it's a mute, a smaller amount of the admixture, nonetheless it will get the bracha of bore mine mezonos. Gufa, the Gemara, brings back this statement, Rav Ushmod Amri Trevayhu. They both said, Kol sheyesh boi, mechamesh hamin, mevarchin al borei mine mezonos. Again, any food that contains within it one of the chamishe mine dogon, again, even if it's just a mute, a small amount, versus a larger amount mixed together, still the brach will be borei mine mezonos because of the chashivus of the chamishe mine dogon. Says the Gemara, v'itmar nami, Rav Ushmol, and Rav Ushmol said a similar statement. The Amri Travai, they both said, Koshehu mecha meshes, hamini mevarichin ala bare mini mezonos. Any food that is, that has, chameshes mine dogon, that will get the brach of bare mini mezonos, which sounds similar to the previous statement. The first one was Koshehu bo, any food that has, that contains in it. And the other statement was Koshehu mecha meshes. Hamini do mevarchin. Any food that, that is of the chamisha mine dogon. Says the Gemara to explain, we need both statements. Vitzricha, di ashma inon kol shehu. If we only had the latter statement that says kol shehu, any food that is of the chamisha mine dogon, then hava mina mishum di isei be'eno. Ava ayidei taruvos loy. I would say it's only because it has the chamisha mine dogon in the food itself, which is be'ain, which is intact, then you make a mezonos, even if it's a minority. But if it's mixed together, therefore it loses its property as being chashuv, and therefore you will not make a bracha of bare mine mezonos. Kamash malan, yesh bo. Therefore it says in the first statement, any food that has in it, chamishim mina dogim. Even if it's an admixture, even if it's a mixture that got mixed together, and still it's one of the chamishim in Dogen, it will still require the bracha of Barei Minim Zonos. yesh boy. If I only had the first statement, then hava mino kol she yesh boy chamishim zaminim in. Aval ores v'doichan loy mishum de'aidei taroivis. I would say anything that has in it, that contains in it, one of the chamishim mine Dogen, again, wheat, barley, rye, oats, or spelt, 
Those are the things, if it's mixed together, gets the designation, bari minei mizonos. But if it has mixed together rice or millet, then it would not get the bracha of bari minei mizonos. Aval isei be'enai, however, if it is intact, even if the, there's rice, but it's intact, then I would think you would make the bracha of bari minei mizonos in that food. Kamash Malan, therefore it comes to teach us otherwise. Koshehu mechameshes haminin, hudim varchin alo, bari minim zonos. La apuke ores vidoichen, afilu ise beenai, lo me varchin bari minim zonos. Therefore it says specifically, again, the statement of Koshehu, that it has it, it has the food itself of the chamishe mine dogen specifically and not ores vidoichen. Only then will it get mezonos, but for Orez Doichan, it will not get the bracha of mezonos. Says the Gemara with the following question: For Orez Doichan, lo mevarchinam bore mine mezonos, that does not get the designation of bore mine mezonos. Vehatanya asked the Gemara from a brayso: Hey, view the fun of pas Orez u pas Doichan mevarech alav tchila v'soif kemaisa kedera. The Bryce says over here that a person who has served bread that's made out of either rice or millet, the bracha would be tchila v'sof, like a maise kedera, like a cooked dish. V'gabi maise kedera, tanya, b'tchila mevarech ala borei minei mezoinois, ul v'sof mevarech barocha achas me'en sholosh. And we know when it comes, the Bryce says, to a maise kedera, the bracha rishoina is borei minei mezoinois, and the bracha achrona is Me'en Sholosh. Says the Gemara, it's Kemaisa Kedeira Veloi Kemaisa Kedeira. It's like a Maisa Kedeira, but it's also not like a Maisa Kedeira. Kemaisa Kedeira, the Mevarchina love Tchila Vasoif. It's like a cooked dish in the sense that you make a bracha before and a bracha afterwards. Meaning to say that a Maisa Kedeira does not require Hamotzi before and a bracha of Birkas Hamozen afterwards. So it's similar to that. In the sense that it gets a bracha before and a bracha after, that's not hamoti and birkas hamozon. Veloi kemaisa kedera, the ilu kemaisa kedera, betchila bore minei mezonos, ul vesoi bracha achaz main sholosh. But it's not like a maisa kedera, which requires a bracha of bore minei mezonos before and alamichia after. Vilu hocha betchila mevarech alav shehakol niya bidvoroi, ul vesoi bore in a fosho za abois vechesuran al koma shebo. But over here, when it comes to a bread that's made out of rice or out of millet, that bracha rishona will be shehakol, and the bracha achona will be borei nefoshos. This bracha borei nefoshos has two different parts. Let's take a look at Toysus on top of the Omud. Borei nefoshos rabois feches nam. The first part of the bracha says that HaKadosh Baruch created many nefoshos with their chesronam, with their needs. It says Toysus, kemo lechem umayim. These are the most essential things that a person cannot live without. He says like water and like bread. And therefore that's referring to The next part, however, That refers to something else. All of those things even if he did not create them, a person can live without them. Says Toysvis that these things were only created for our own enjoyment. He says, for example, like apples. A person can survive without apples, and yet Yerakosh gives us apples to enjoy. And to turn to him and say, thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's the latter part of this bracha. Says the Gemara Viter, Ve'orez lav maise kedeira, who asks the Gemara challenges, is Orez indeed not a maise kedeira? Ve'hatani, behold, it says in the Brayso, Elu hein maise kedeira. It says, these are the following Considered to be a type of porridge. Chilka, Tragis, Soiles, Zoris, 
the arson, the arrays, and includes arrays in this list. It says, Chilka, these are grits that are wheat which is cut into half, or tragis which is cut into thirds, soilish which is fine flour, zaris which is cut into fourths, arson which is cut into fifths, the arrays, and rice. It's all included in this list of Maise Kedera. Says the Gemara, Ha Mani, who is this author? Who is the one who's saying that it's considered to be a Maise Kedera? Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. This is the unique opinion of Rabbi Yossi ben Nuri, who says that Orez has the same designation as the Chamisha Mine Dogon. The Tanya as follows Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri Oimer, Orez Min Dogon Hu. The Chayovin al Chimutsoi Kores, the Odem Yotze be de Chavosu ba Pesach. He says it's no different than the Chamisha Mine Dogon. And therefore, just like wheat, barley, spelt, rye and oats, that if a person makes his matzah with, he will be yoytze his day, yedei choivosoy, on lela seder. So to when it comes to, if he makes that matzah out of rice, and alternatively, and conversely rather, if a person were to then have chametz that results from these chamisha mina dogon, and also would have chametz that would result from rice, according to Rabbi Yechem and Nuri, if there's a Shear of a kazais, he'll be over and he eats it, he'll be then chayev kores. Aval Rabbonon loy, but this is not the opinion of the Rabbonon. Says the Gemara Rabbonon lo, this is not the opinion of the Rabbonon, but Hatanya. The Rabbonon do not say that a Maise Kedeira is including Orez. The Hatanya says in the following Braisa, Hakoisem es hachito mevarech ale borei pri ha'adomo. A person who eats wheat the way it is, he makes a bracha bore priyadomo. Tochno of ubishlo. If a person were to then ground that wheat, bake it, and then cook it, bizman shah prusos kayomois bitchilo mevarich ale hamoitzi lechemina oritz. Ulavesoy mevarich ale gimel brochos. If they still have the recognizable pieces, then it'll have hamoitzi, and then birkas hamos at the end. And if there are not recognizable pieces, then at first he'll make the bracha of borei minei mezonos, and then the latter, the bracha achon, will be the me'en sholosh. When he eats rice that is raw, he makes ha'adomo. Tochnu ofoi ubishloi. If he were to then grind that rice, and he would bake it and then cook it, regardless if there's pieces that are recognizable or not, and here it says that you make mezonos before, and a bracha me'en sholosh afterwards. Mani, who is this Brisa, Ilay Rabbi Yochanan ben Nenuri hu, Domer Ores min Dogon hu, who says Ores and Dogon is one of the same. Hamoitzi lechem in Ores v'shalosh brachos brai brachi. Then he would require you to make a bracha of Hamoitzi before, and because Hamoitzi afterwards, if the pieces are recognizable. El lav Rabbonon he, rather it must be the Rabbonon in this Brisa. V'tiyuvda the Rav Ushmuel tiyuvda, and then we have now a refute. To the opinion of Rav Ushmuel, because you want to say before that Rav Ushmuel, who say the statement that Kol Shehu Mechameshes Haminim, all of those things that have intact Chameshes Haminim, those foodstuffs, he said, they require Brach of Bore Minim Mizonos. But, however, if it is Orez, not. So we have a refutation against the statement of Rav and Shmuel. However, we have to keep in mind, it only refutes that second statement of kol shehu. But the statement of kol shehu yesh boy mechamesh is minin. But if any, any, any food that has contains in it a mixture of chamesh and minin dogon, that still remains. And therefore, even if it's a miyut in the dish, you would still make a bracha bore minin mezonos. Says the Gemara, Omar Mar, coming back and bringing the statement that we had before. Hakoi says, Es hachito, mevarich aleha borei pri ha'adomo. If a person eats 
wheat the way it is, he makes a bracha bore priha adomo. The hatanyo as the Bryce, as they come up with the Bryce, so bore mine dizroim. He makes a bracha bore mine zeroim. And therefore, not bore shahanoi bar priya adama. Says the Gemara Lokasha, Horeb Yehuda Horabonon. This is the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda that says bore mine zeroim. But the Rabbonon, they would say bore priya adama. They don't make a distinction on things that are coming from the ground if they're bore priya adama because they're a vegetable like tomato, or if they're a head of cabbage, or even if they're a legume, they would always have the bracha of bari priyadama. Whereas of Yehuda, he says, you need to make a bracha on the specific type. This nan, val yerokos oimer bari priyadama, Rabbi Yehuda oimer bari minei deshoim. When it comes to, let's say, a cabbage or a lettuce, so Rabbi Yehuda says, you cannot say bari priyadama, you have to give it a specific bracha and say bari minei deshoim. So to over here, when it comes to the wheat that is eaten the way it is, so although the Rabbanan say Bore Priya Adama, but Rabbi Yehuda would say Bore Mine Ziroim. Says the Gemara Omar Mar, bringing back a different statement that we had before. Hakoises es haoreis mevarich alov Bore Priho Adama. A person who eats the rice the way it is makes the bracha Bore Priya Adama. Tochnoi of oi ubeshloi. Afa pisha prusois kayomois betchilo mevarich ala bore minimizonois ulvesoi bracha achas main sholosh. But if he takes that wheat and he grinds it and he bakes it and then he cooks it, so then that will then require the bracha of bore minimizonos before and ala michio afterwards. Vatanya asked the asked the Gemara with the following brisa levesoi veloy klum. At the end, it gets a bracha of borei nefashos, but not the bracha of me'ein sholosh. So we have one brisa that says, you make a bracha achrona of achas me'ein sholosh. And the second brisa that we just quoted now says that you would make a bracha of borei nefashos rabois v'ches renon. Says the Gemara bringing the following, Om Rav Sheshesh Lokasha, it's not a difficulty. We can resolve these two brises as follows. But now we're going to build up with a long brisa, Horam and Gamliel Harabonim. We want to suggest that the brisa, the first one that says one would make a bracha of Me'en Sholosh at the end, that's Rabbi Gamliel, and the Rabbonim are of the opinion that you make a Borein of Foshos. The Tanya, Zeh HaKlau, Kol Shehu Mishivas Haminim, anything that is of the Shivas Haminim, Rabbi Gamliel Oime Sholosh Brochos. You would make Birkas Hamozoin, you would make a bracha of me'en sholosh. The Gemara brings this b'risa, the b'risa continues and says the following maisa, there was Ram Gamliel and the Zekenim that were sitting in the attic there in Yericho. And as they were reclining, preparing to eat, they were brought Tomorrow, they were brought dates to eat. After they ate them, Venosan Ramam Lil Rishus Rabbi Akiva Levarech. He told Rabbi Akiva to give a bracha achroina. Kofatz uborach Rabbi Akiva bracha achas mein sholosh. Rabbi Akiva quickly made the bracha of achas mein sholosh on the tomorrow that he ate, on the dates that he ate. Omar Lil Ramam Lil Akiva. Ad Mosai atomachnis roishcho ben hamachloikes. How, how, until when are you going to continue to then put your head in between a machloikes? So Rabbi Akiva responds to Rabbi Gamliel, Rabbeinu, Afa pisha ato oimer kain, vechaver cho oimim kain, limaritenu Rabbeinu, yochi verabim halach kerabim. Although you hold the bracha is birgas hamazon, and others hold the chachamim, they hold differently than you, that the bracha is me'achaz me'in sholosh, the halach is like the rabbim. That's what you taught us. Rabbi Yehuda, now the price it continues. Rabbi Yehuda Oimer Mishmoi, in the name of Rabbi Gamliel, Kol Shehu Mishivas Haminim, all of those things that are included in the Shivas Haminim, Veloi Min Dogon Hu, but are not of the Dogon, for example, dates and figs, O Min Dogon Veloi Osoi Pas, or if it is one of the Min Dogon, 
barley, wheat, but it's not one of the fruits. And it's not made out of pas. Now the reason why I'm saying it's not made out of pas because if it was made out of pas, everybody would, would agree that you make hamotzi and berkas hamozen. But here it's the opinion of Rabbi Gamliel who says, min dogan v'loy osu pas. You didn't make bread out of it. Rabbi Gamliel oimer sholosh brochois v'chachomer min brocha achas. Rabbi Gamliel says in this case you would make berkas hamozen v'chachomim say you would only make Brocha achas me'ein sholosh. Ko she'eino lo'y mishivas ha'minim. V'lo min dogon. Kegon pas ores v'doichan. Now it gets back to our Indian. Anything that is made only out of ores and doichan. Rav Gamliel oime brocha achas me'ein sholosh. V'chachom ha'minim v'lo'y klum. And therefore we can resolve our difficulty because we had a raisa that said the brocha achrona for a bread that was made out of rice is achas me'en sholosh. And the different prices says you make bore in a foshosh. So now we can say the opinion of Rabbi Gamliel is the one that says that you make achas me'en sholosh. And the opinion of the Chacham is the one who said in the Braisa you make a bore in a foshosh. Says the Gemara, b'may ukimte. The Gemara now wants to then say, who do you establish this Braisa to be? Kirab Gamliel, that's what we want to suggest. Aim a safe for the ratio. But you have to look at this safe of the ratio of this b'risa that says the following: Im ein ha prusos kayomois b'tchilo mevarich alei aborei minim mezoynois ulevesoyt mevarich alei abrocha achas mein sholosh. It says if the prusos, the pieces, are not visible, they're not; they've been already absorbed into the tavshil. So then you make a bracha of. Bari minem zonos before and ach me achas mein sholosh afterwards. Mani, who's offering this? I Rabban Gamliel hashda akesoy akesoy akesovos vaadaiso. I Rabban Gamliel gimel brachos. If in the case that Rabban Gamliel just told us that a person eats tamarim dates or he eats daiso, that would require a bracha of birkas hamazon. Then, if Einaf Rusus Kayamas me boy, then certainly when it comes to a Tavshil, even if the Tavshil becomes absorbed, certainly you'll still say a bracha of Birkas Amazon. So it can't be Rabbi Gamliel, because here it's saying that in this Braisa you would make Me'en Sholosh. Ela Pshita Rabbonan. But you must say, therefore, it's the Rabbonan that authors this Braisa. Ask the Gemara then, Ihochi. Kasha de Rabbonah de Rabbonan. Then the two brises are still contradictory because the first brisa that we said is the Rabbonan. They say that the bracha for a bread that is made out of rice, the bracha achron is achas me'en sholosh. Whereas the second brisa says you make barin of foshos. Says the Gemara, Ela lo oilom Rabbonan. It is the Rabbonan. Vitani gabe orez ulvesoif eno mevarech alov v'loy klum. And you'd have to then just amend that brisa, the first brisa, to say that after eating the bread that is made out of rice, you make a bracha of bari nefoshos. And therefore, the both brises require a mezonos before and a bari nefoshos afterwards. And that's the minhog. 